Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Happy Black Friday. Although it won't be Friday when you see this. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so people started shopping last night. Uh, I guess probably yesterday afternoon after they finished eating their... It was... Uh, we had a really slow sales day actually wednesday wasn't wasn't great either except for one sale that kind of saved our our sales day yeah but then thanksgiving day itself was like pretty quiet mm -hmm. until about late, i don't know seven yeah. Mm, yeah maybe six seven o'clock yeah and then it took off and um i mean we even woke up to some good sales so it felt yeah. good we saw it on three platforms um, eBay, and then we have one each on Etsy and Macari. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah, this is really good because we're actually, as soon as, not too long after we get all this stuff packed up and ready to roll, we're going to roll out too. We're going on a little camping trip for a few days. And, uh, um, yep, just for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be back on, by, on Sunday, so it's not going to impact our work at all. Other than we're not, can't really source this weekend anyway. Yeah. Uh, with weather and holiday weekend, like we found in the past, trying to source on holiday weekends is just, it, it, you're spinning your wheels. And yeah. I, I mean, in our opinion. Yeah. Plus, plus, we want to take a quick, quick little break before we get crazy with the continue, holiday rush huh? continue the last push yeah. you know hopefully anyways yep. so uh yeah let's go ahead and get these orders pulled so we can get out of here all right you ready let's go eight delta build a bear bunny rabbit eight delta charlie delta i see a rabbit a rabbit underneath a bunch of bras This guy? Um, yep, $12.99. Okay. Eight Bravo, a lot of three hair bleaching box kits, you know, box kits. Eight Bravo? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We actually sold. We yeah, we had a. Uh, I remember a few weeks back we sold uh, three more just like this. Yeah. Okay. Those sold for um, $17.99. This took a little while. All right, you sold that um, awesome cookbook find you found. Six Bravo Chester Chester Ishida. Chester Cheetah, okay. Sold Chester Cheetah cookbook. Oh, Chester Ichida. Yeah. Whatever that means, Chester Ichida. I know E means and. Oh, it says it has a translation right. A bit of this and a little of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Forty nine ninety nine for that one. That's another cookbook, Bolu. Yeah, these ladies know how to cook. Look at them. They yeah. got piles of food. Those are Sicilians. Yes. Uh, let's see. Nine Alpha. We saw one of those um, dog tents. Oh, yeah. Good. Yep. One down, three to go. One of these guys. 24 99 for that. Okay. Sold a nutcracker. Five Charlie Wright. It's a cowboy. I think what you was can, that? I think you can find this one on your own. Okay, I know what a cowboy looks like. <laughs> um, yeah, I got him. He's got him a revolver. He's, He's got him a lasso. He's a real cowboy. Look how low his hat sits. Yeah. Keep that sun out of his eyes when he's riding yeah. out on the prairie. I didn't. I never saw him before. Forty nine ninety nine. Okay. Six Foxtrot, we saw it a hobnail glass Viking horn beer sign with a pewter lid. It's oh, clear glass. It's all the way down here. I see it. This guy. Yep. That sold for $16.87. Five Delta, we sold a shoe. We did. We saw it a left size 14 triple E. Not sure which side I need to be on really. And it's the other side. I could see it through there. Alright, which which shoe did we sell? This is this matters. Left 14 triple E. Left. Okay, and this I'm assuming you probably put the other one on the Yeah. 
Okay, that is definitely a left boot. And I did message the buyer just to make sure they knew they were buying one, even though it's very apparent in the title. I didn't want the hassle of a return. And they, they did know, they yeah, answered. They uh, 14 Triple E, I see it on the tongue there. Yep. We have a, uh, we have to get down a dog box, dog in. Uh, haven't had to do that lately. Dog sales have kind of slowed down. Okay, it's this one, I'll be right back. All right, this is what's sold right here. Yep, the little Christmas harness, we sold that for $12. All right, extra small is correct? Extra small is correct. All right. Put this back up. 5F on the right, you sold that um, Nomad, Chevy Nomad model kit. 5F on the right, all right. 5F, yes. At first, when this first sold, I thought it was going to be uh, the big model. Well, uh, this is a, f the big model is a 57. The smaller one was a 55. Still a good sale, though. We only paid $2 for the small one. Yep, $22.49 is what that sold for. Okay. Uh, we have a comic lot, comic 56. Yeah, this is one we ran an auction on. This guy right here. Here we go. And that ended up selling for $36. <laughs> okay. The auctions worked out fine. Uh, Max sale tapes in the cube, a five pack. Okay, these are some we bought this last weekend. Uh, these right here, yep. XL 290s. Mm -hmm. These are high bias. Candace actually found these. We got those in the state sale, digging through a bucket. $39.99. Uh, sold the Rainmate IL on six Charlie. Six. Yeah, I you, I put it right here. I'm like, why? You know why? Because you knew it was gonna sell. That's right. <laughs> that thing cleaned up nice, huh? Oh, it looks it looks brand new. So it had um, water scaling in the plastic area. And, At the bottom. Yeah. Um, I I told Lonnie just heat up some um, white vinegar in the microwave pour it in there and it'll wipe right out and did that work that it looks brand new yeah look at it, it it was it wasn't bad this one was not bad at all but it did have uh cloudiness and scaling or whatever yeah. all on the bottom of this thing mm -hmm. and that worked perfectly yeah um let's see what sold yeah we just had a cha-ching <laughs> what was it let's pull it next okay because i de I'm definitely want to clear the deck oh it's a good one what is it um, They're the, all good. The Lowe's Christmas building we just picked up. Oh, nice. Weekend. It's okay. on 8 Echo. 8 Echo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm digging the holidays. Getting in the holiday spirit, that's for sure. That's a good cha-ching. All right. This. This Lowe's building we paid $12.50 for. Yep. And it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And I listed it, was it yesterday or day before? Well, either yesterday or day before. It didn't make it long. Yeah. That was at that estate sale with all the crazy stuff, too. It's, and they had a lot of Christmas villages, but they had that, and they had a Walmart, and they had, they had a Walmart Super Center, which is weird to me. And then they had a Walton's, but neither one of the Walmart ones were worth picking up. Oh, uh, okay. Was, yeah. Yeah, we got this and this at that sale so far all right well, you sold the little dremel shoe shine thing you listed yesterday seven echo okay i'll say little it's not little no it's not that little let's see seven that's weird i put it all the way back here i did though it's right here Ugh. and it works I was impressed with how smoothly this thing ran. I know. Smooth and, it looks and so quiet. Good. It's so clean. What yeah. did you pay for that? Like uh, it wasn't much. It was like uh oh six dollars. Sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. All right, next item is two reel to reel tapes on six delta, two blanks. New in package. Six delta, yep. B A S F's. Got these at same sale where we got the lows and the tapes. And those sold for $49.99. Next items, 
is 10 Bravo dash E. It's the lot of three ducks with issues. 10 Bravo. Okay, it's gonna be in here. I'll be okay. right back. Well, this is a nice problem to have. <laughs> Running out of room on the bench. That's I a know. good thing. Okay, so E. Yes. So there should be three ducks labeled E. E, E, Oh my and... gosh, there's one little ducky left mm. all by himself. Oh, ugly duckling in there. Yeah. So those three sold for $22.49. And they each had some kind of, uh, I think, my, like pretty minor issue. If it was a major issue, I wouldn't even list them. Right. All right, let's get these put up. In the MU8 drawer, we sold a high bias cassette uh, Digitech DT2. Yeah, this, oh, this actually came from that same sale. Yep. Yeah um as this stuff and look these tapes too yeah 22 dollars uh, and 49 cents and the, this is the cool one that had the metal looks yeah. like a reel to reel tape in there yeah um this was a nice sale this morning uh the brenton chronicle sold on 11 alpha it's a book lot yeah i think i'm gonna have to okay they're back there so i'm gonna have to take this stuff out yeah, that was, uh, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and take that out and we'll talk about it. Okay, I got Bregden Chronic. How many are we supposed to have? We are supposed to have... Um, Hopefully it's 14. 14, yes. Okay, because we, we have 14. Um, these we actually got at a garage sale where the prices were crazy. We we're just talking about it. We paid $5 for all these. Yeah, I mean, the prices there, I was like, man, why didn't they have more stuff for us to buy? Because we only bought, like, three things there, I think. Yeah, we bought these for five, and then we bought one of those um, deluxe Scrabbles for, like, a dollar. And it was complete. We already sold it. Yeah. For, like, I don't remember, like, 40 bucks, 35 something like that. And then Candace bought, I can't remember, you bought something it was, else. It was a big Pyrex, um, the the cranberry Pyrex, a big round uh, casserole dish, Did which we I haven't listed yet. Oh, okay. No. okay. I, need to, I need to clean it up. I haven't gotten around to it. I don't even know where it is. It's sitting under my desk. We just had all these big buys coming in. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but we paid five for those and sold them for one twenty four ninety nine. Wow, what a score that was. Yeah. We actually woke up to this sale this morning. And then we have one more item on eBay, CC2. It's a uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon figure maker. CC2? Mm -hmm. We actually have one more thing on eBay, but we're going to we're gonna get to that after we get everything else done. It's a bigger thing. It's going to be, we have, that's the yeah. UPS order. Yep. This guy right here. Uh, that sold for $14.99. <laughs> has a little dust on it. I yeah. dust it off before I ship it. All right, we're going to swing over to Etsy. Uh, we sold a nativity, a Fontanini. <laughs> um, it's Balthazar on one Echo. He's riding a camel. One Echo, Balthazar riding a camel. Okay. Delta Echo. And let's see. He might. He's going to be buried, it looks like. Yeah, we bought that stuff months ago, and we knew it was going to take Dang, a little while. Behind all this stuff. Yeah, all right. hang on. Okay, found him behind a bunch of plush back there. Yeah, there he's he is. in the very back. He sold for $54.99. That's pretty cool. Man, where did we buy that? I think that, remember that marketplace buy? I think that's where that was. Ah. Uh, we had buildings and everything. This is the this is one of the larger ones. Yeah, we don't have many um, left from that say it, from that buy. And then over in Macari, we sold a Funko Pop. It's on Five Bravo Druig seven three three. Five Bravo. Huh. Oh, this is him right here. That sold for ten dollars. Yeah, this. We didn't have this price very well. This guy sold for ten dollars free ship. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I, I don't know if that was a mistake. That it must was. have been a mistake. Sometimes okay, so whenever I'm cross listing to Macari, sometimes I'll do shipping included with stuff. And then when you go to do your next batch, sometimes it carries it over to the next listings. And so I don't catch it. 
Uh, I mean, I've caught it before, but I'm sure there's been a few that slipped through. I guess I need to go through and check them all. It's no biggie on yeah. this. On this one, it's not a, a huge right. deal. I mean, yeah. it, it's not a valuable pop anyways. It, it's been up there forever. So, but we're 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 only going to get a couple of bucks off of we'll that. Probably one. make three or four dollars profit. Yeah. Maybe three. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, so that's everything besides the UPSer, right? Yep, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice looking bench. Uh huh. That's like a shelf and a half there. I know. Love it. <laughs> All right. Last thing I'm packing today is this Techniques uh, turntable. And believe it or not, it is packed really well in this old shipping box. Obviously, that's not going to be the outer packaging. Um, we have this computer case box that is uh, pretty strong that will fit this. But before I put this in here, I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to do a wrap of cardboard. Then I'm going to put it in that box after I take the computer case out. Um, I think this sold for... $340. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy packed up and we will see you, I think, Sunday. Hello, everyone. It is day two, sorta. Uh, it's more like day three or three for us, huh? Yeah. Um, it's Sunday and we just got back from a little short camping trip. We left Friday afternoon and got back this morning, like by 11 o'clock. The campground we went to was only 45 minutes away. So um, that was really nice. Like we left here and we were set up in an hour and a half. So and same thing when we left um, this morning, we were back home and had everything disconnected and everything. But it, it was a fun trip. Um, we did end up going to a Renaissance fair, which we weren't planning on doing, which is kind of weird. Yeah, um, it was it was cool. It was very crowded. I didn't think it would be being a holiday weekend. So um, we, we didn't stay too long because... You couldn't get seats for the shows and stuff. It was it was tough. It was crowded. And then last night, we played a board game, which we do. <laughs> we play a lot of board games when we go on these camping trips. We played a board game, um, Monopoly, but we played Crazy for Cats version. Yeah. Because Molly loves cats. She's crazy for cats. She is. She likes all animals, really, but she really likes cats. And uh, it was so weird. The way you would win the game is you would have to fight the breeders. Yeah. You and, had to win the cats. Instead of money, you had to have cats. And every time you'd pass go, you'd get cats from the shelter. Yeah. Like, that's how you got... It was so bizarre. <laughs> it, Candace, was, it was very strange. It was kind of fun, though, once we got the hang of it. It was, it was different. And it's a lot quicker than regular Monopoly, so it's a good short Monopoly game. Candace is saying that because she won. No. It's, <laughs> um, yeah, we have quite a collection of board games in the camper. I need to thin them out. We have, I think, four or five versions of Monopoly. Yeah, you can thin the one that cat one out. I think Molly liked it. Well, she liked I'll it. I'll ask her. All right, I don't know. Right. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we had some good sales. Um, Friday was awesome. Friday was it was Friday was over eleven hundred in sales. Saturday was two fifty in sales. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we we did want to go ahead and um, uh, we're gonna pull and pack everything that we have in so far uh, because we want to have a great listing week next week. And I do feel a little bit um, I feel a little recharged because you know what we didn't do any sourcing this weekend. Nope. Um, and we haven't worked since Friday around early Friday. Yeah, like around noon is when we cut out of here. So I feel I feel kind of recharged yeah. to uh, get this last um, push for this year mm -hmm. done. How about you? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. We got this. We still have a lot of good stuff to list, and um, yeah, we're gonna be busy this week. We are. Yeah. Listing stuff and hopefully packing and shipping stuff right. and everything. So we. So we had a lot of we have a lot of orders going out on eBay, and then we do have one order on Macari. Um, we're going to start with eBay. Are you ready? Yep. Nine Alpha. We have a Sony Handycam with the bag, the camo bag. Yeah, this um, this bag right here. Um, and I guarantee you, this bag helps sell the camera. Oh yeah. What I pay for this? I think it was like fifteen. Yeah, it wasn't much. It, but it was more than like five. It wasn't much, but it also wasn't trivial. And it ended up selling for $99.99. And that is not a, a super old one. That is a hard drive version type camcorder. 
It, but it holds, it, it does really well though. Yeah. It's just not H HD. All right, next order is two graphic novels, Hobbit 17. Gotta get back, back in the swing of things here. You said Hobbit 17. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know where that is because that's the location. Where I, where we I don't even know why I put it here. I, I think, I guess at the time, I just didn't have any room to put it anywhere else. Yeah. All right, so Hobbit 17. Yeah, Modesty Blaze. Yeah, number two and number four. Yeah, they're both in here. And those sold for $13.49. I think this is a... Uh, I think this might be some like fan fiction kind of thing. Okay. I'm not sure though. Um, we we sold our next order has three lots of Conan newspaper comic strips on CC14, um, C1, C2, and C3. CC14. Yeah. Oh, they're in that bucket right there. Okay, let me get that down. Okay, this is the bucket, and I have just. Some of the stuff we just didn't have like an awesome way to store some of it. And we would definitely want to store it flat. Yeah. So, we don't have a binder big enough for them. So I just put in this bucket with that piece of cardboard on the bottom and uh, it sits flat that way. And each one of you said one, two, and three, right? Yes. And I think each one of those has five. They do. So it's 15 total. Um, and they sold for $74.97. For all of them. For everything. So that's Plus 15. Oh, you said 15 total. Yeah. And y'all can see these are different from the Star Wars ones because they actually say, um, they actually give the release, there's release notes for when to publish what. Yeah. So, you know, those are pretty cool. You put this thing back up. We sold a gold charm, Pocket 64. It's a uh, Drakkar Viking ship. What was that little accent I'm thing you did? I'm trying to talk there? like Daenerys, but she says Dracarys. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, just a little boat. Yeah, so when it has the dragon head on the front, apparently that's called Dracar. I learned some new trivia. Oh, I do see the dragon head on yeah. there. Yeah, so that's sold for $49.99. 10 Charlie, we sold a Nutcracker, the Immigrant, and Juliet also. Two separate sellers, but let's just grab them both. Juliet's right here in front. Okay, here's Juliet. Yeah. I'm going to hand her to you. Oh, okay, let's go put her up and come back because the immigrant's way in the back. No, that's Edison. Where's the immigrant? He must be... Uh, he's over there on the very I back. see him. He yeah. actually... Apparently, back in the day, immigrants actually wore hats that said immigrant on them. Yeah, you, that's how they knew what they were, how to identify them. Yeah, they don't do that these days, To let them in the country. I don't think the immigrants <laughs> are doing that so much these days. <laughs> Okay, so the immigrant sold for one twenty-five. Okay, this guy. And Juliet from Romeo and Juliet sold for one thirty-five. Wherefore art thou? <laughs> uh, does his little music box work? I think so. But he's got. I see. He's got a little. Oh, it only works while you're turning. Yeah, it's just a little churn thing. Yeah. That's cool. He's got his passport. U.S. U.S. of A. <laughs> In the tiger drawer, we sold a Spanish Civil War belt buckle for $24.99. Yeah, this was actually part of uh, the gold buy also. Yes. This was in there. That $400 buy. Yes. Um, we have a hat on CC10. It's a um, newsboy cap. Oh, yeah. A flat cap. Yeah. CC10? Yep. Okay. Ah. And it's flat. It is flat. Um, that's, that's a cool hat. It's the United Hatters cap. Um, $18.74. Okay. MU7, which I think is now Bev, right? Yeah, we must have not changed it. A lot of two Disney Infinity power discs. Okay. Hulk. I think they're both Hulk. Oh, we do have more. Uh, is one of them octagonal and one round? Because I think I think these are all maybe the same. I'll pull them out and look at them. Yeah. They both have 2.0 on them. Okay. Yeah, we have four. We have five quantities, so yeah. Okay. That's Wait, we have five now? Uh, we should have four now. Oh, I see them back here. Yeah. All right. Those sold for $11.99. Well, that's better than I was expecting you to say, honestly. <laughs> 
Um, we sold some more cassette tapes. Six Delta, a lot of six Sony and TDK. Six Delta? Yes. Okay, that's going to be how many? Six. Oh, that is six. Okay. Yeah, these are from, uh, well, these are some of the ones that you found, yeah, I think. Yeah, and then the bucket. $26.99 yeah. for those. And we were into these for two for a dollar. So we paid three yeah. for this. Yeah. Okay, we sold two Star Wars newspaper comic prints. Um, they sold together for $49.98 was their total on those. Yeah. Okay, this one I have, the one number nine. Uh, looks like it's dated 525, yeah. 1980. Yep. And then 17, we'll just make real sure we have the right ones. 17 is dated 1230. 1979, yep. Okay. Yeah, I see 1979 on there. And the way I'm going to ship these is together, of course. Um, they're a little bit wide for a Gemini comic mailer, so I'm just going to use one of my vinyl mailers to ship those. Okay, we have another Nutcracker, a Fisherman on one Charlie. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sure is. Whew, that's a big boy there. Yep, he sold for $79.99. Okay. Lots of crackers on Friday. Yeah. Pocket 96. Ever After High replacement necklace for Apple White. 96. Let's see if it's in here. It's a little gold color necklace. And yeah, got it. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the pockets. Pocket seventy-two. Uh, vintage Catholic cross, sterling silver. Seventy-two. Yep, got it. That's all for nineteen ninety-nine. This was also in the four hundred dollar gold buy. Yep. Nine Delta, three pack of lithium batteries. Yeah, somebody sent an offer for 20 bucks on a lot of these, plus shipping. One, two, three. These have done really well so far. The, we got these from Kevin and Danielle on one of their, those buys. And yeah. uh, ended up being, I, I figured they'd be decent, but it ended up being like a couple hundred bucks worth of batteries there. We sold a, a U.S. military Vietnam era hat on 10 Echo. Green cap. Ten, oh, it's in the uh, hat. There's a hat box over here. Let's see it. Make sure I get the right one. It has a lieutenant stripe on it. Like one single, yeah. Let mm -hmm. me see it. Um, yeah. Yeah, a second lieutenant, it says in the listing. Okay. So yeah. that's all for 30. This didn't look like to me. It's Vietnam era. It didn't look like to me it ever been worn. I know, it's so clean. The next order has four lots of racing stickers. Okay, let me go get the box. Yeah. Okay, got racing sticker box. Ready to B12. So that's a uh, vitamin. vitamin yeah. <laughs> B16. Okay, 16. Got it. C1. Got it. D15. Okay, it's going to be way back there. We need to stuff some more stuff in here. Yeah. D. Still blows my mind how many of these stickers we had in and have sold. Yeah. And so good. Okay. There we go. Those four lots together, $59.96 plus shipping. All right, let me go put this up. Nine Bravo, we sold an Eagle Moss Batman chess piece. Wonder Woman number 34. Nine Bravo, right? Yeah, she's got, her, she's got a board. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is it. Okay, yeah, she's got a chess. It actually comes with a chessboard. Yeah. What do we get for that? $29.99. Okay, cool. 
We saw it a pup tent on Nine Alpha. Okay. Just listed those the other day. It's from Candace's $25 buy. That's the second one of those we sold. Yeah, two, two sold and two left. $24.99. Uh, two foxtrots and black and white plaid bands tennis shoes. Two foxtrots? Fox Uh-oh. This is my this is my problem area. Oh, but I do see them. Thank goodness. Right there. I need to get this computer built. <laughs> I actually used the box for Molly's uh, computer case to ship a stereo the other day. Or not a stereo, a turntable. turntable yeah. It had a good um, double wall cardboard box. Mm -hmm. And this, the turntable came in its original box, which is pretty sturdy. With, with packing material. And yeah, with foam and all that stuff in it. And so I wrapped that box, the original box, in cardboard twice then i took that and i put that inside of the uh computer computer case box which was double wall so still have my fingers crossed i'm always scared of that kind of stuff but i think uh i think i packed it pretty well vans you said twenty dollars for those okay and then the last item on ebay is a german beer stein on eight charlie Okay, let me see. Let me see if there's just one. Yeah, I don't know. So we have had... It's probably this. It's probably this one. I, I didn't see any other ones over there. It's a big one. This is what it looks like. Let me turn it to where... It's got a green guy looking at a girl. Yeah. <laughs> and then his two, his two buddies are like... Yeah, yeah. Hit on her. Or something, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> $22.49. And then on Macari, we sold a dog dress and shirt bundle. Um, location is dog H12. Let's see where that's at. Dog H. I've got, you know what? Here, I'm going to move my Coke. And I'm going to find it. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's a t-shirt and a dress size extra large. They sold for $13. It's more yoga. Yeah, some more yoga. Pause and reflect. A bulldog doing yoga and then yoga. I'm down dog. Yeah. All right. And then throw this guy back up here. Dog clothing stuff is definitely slowed down, but it's, it's still happening. It'll pick up again in the spring, I think. Well, the coats have been selling well, but this springier clothing, mm -hmm. it'll be after Christmas. Well, the more we sell, the less we have to sell. Yeah. So the less you're going to sell. Right. You know, that's kind of how that stuff works. All right, that is all the orders going out. So far. Yes. So far. Hopefully, we're going to have a good night tonight. Right. I, I have a feeling we will. Oh, yeah. I'll Sunday so. night after Thanksgiving. Yeah, people settling down from the weekend's activities. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I am glad to see we've got th three of the crackers sold. Yeah, three big ones. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed, and uh, I think Candace is going to do another one of her trip reports. Yeah, trip report for my cruise. Okay, I took a quick break before I started packing, and uh, we actually sold, we actually got another sale on um, Etsy. Etsy. So now we've got three platforms. For shit. I'm kind of surprised we didn't sell anything on Etsy. I know. Yeah, this weekend. Right, yeah. Okay. We sold a few last, like the end of last week. Um, this is a little nutcracker. He's six inches tall. Um, he's on six echo. He's a little Bavarian holding a beer. It's a, like a club member piece for Steinbach. Oh, this is a Steinbach. Yeah, he's a little club member. A little tiny one. Yeah. Sure is. And he sold for $34.99 plus shipping. He's got a Hofbrau. Yep. Beer in his hand. Some foam coming out. <laughs> and his uh, cracker is in his neck. And I don't know what kind of nuts he's going to crack being that that little. Acorns. <laughs> no, an acorn won't even fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, now I'm going to get to packing. All right, this is much later. I've still got a few things uh, left to pack, like four things here. But I got everything else 
done so far over here. So, um, today we're gonna I'm gonna talk some more about my trip um, to the Mediterranean, and we're gonna talk about a couple of different stops. Um, the first one is Catacolon. That's in Greece, where Olympia is, or that's the port you go to to get to Olympia. And then we're gonna look at some places in Italy. Okay. So um, this first image here is, um, this is at the Catacolone port. Catacolone is like a little fishing village. It's very small. There's really not much to it. If, I mean, there's like some shops and restaurants and that's pretty much it. Is that your ship behind the yacht? No, that's another cruise ship. Um, I, I don't remember which line it was, but yeah, that's another cruise What's ship. What's that smaller ship though? So that smaller ship is called the Christina O. Have you ever heard of it? No. It was launched in 1943, originally as a Canadian anti-submarine frigate named the HMCS Stormont. Storm, Stormont. Stormont. And then at the end of World War II, um, Aristotle Onassis purchased it. For, oh, that's all I was going to ask you. Yeah. If the O was Onassis. Yep. And it was. Because he, he was Greek. Yes. Okay. He purchased it for 34,000 euros, which was scrap value at the time. Oh, wow. And he named it Christina O after his daughter. Okay. It's 325 foot long and it's the 59th longest yacht in the world. So it's a private boat? Oh yeah. It's like, it's, it's very gorgeous inside. Like the details of how they had it done. Who owns it? Um, I don't know who owns He's it. He's dead. Now. Yeah. I mean, maybe his daughter. I'm not sure. Um, okay. I didn't look, I didn't look that up. Um, two days before we got there, Angelina Jolie was staying on it. She's filming a movie in the area. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like they, they had it like docked offshore and she was staying on it and I guess they'd bring her in on a little boat, you know? Oh, okay. Um, this boat, this yacht costs 700,000 euros a week to charter it. If you want to do it for a day, it's like 117,000 euros. And you could have bought it for 30. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, it probably needed a lot of work. So I, I just thought that was interesting. Um, it was not something we knew we were going to see, but when we got there, it was there, you know. Um, this is a little church in Catacolone. Um, and I, I thought it was interesting um, because I don't know if this is like another kind of tomb of an unknown soldier or whatever. I don't know what's going on there, but you can see it's a soldier down on the bottom left there. Uh, we did not go in that church. I was just walking by and I, I like the way it looked. And then I took a picture of these flowers because this is my favorite flower. They're called Angel's Trumpet. They come in different colors. Those yellow ones there. Okay, so um, we went to Olympia and I've put this picture here. I don't even know. I don't even remember what it is. But I wanted y'all to kind of get a feel of what Olympia is. It's, it's, there's not much left. And even this pillar here, here in the middle, they kind of reconstructed it, reconstructed it. It's in sections and they built mm -hmm. it back up. Um, so what was interesting is when we went, we rented these VR glasses. You rent them in town. We were the only ones at Olympia that had these and everybody kept coming up to us like, what do you have? So what it does is you have an earpiece and your VR glasses. And as you're walking, when you get to a certain area, it goes by like GPS and it tells you what you're looking at. Oh, cool. And it shows you through the VR glasses what it looked like back in the day. Oh. And even had like people walking around so it's like augmented reality yes oh, that's cool yeah so um for example this is what the glasses look like and um the building that we walked into to see this was not actually there but it had you walk forward and it was like you're going into the building you know oh. it's really cool so this right here is called um the it's the Th tholos of olympia the it's called the Philippion, and it was built in 338 B BC, DC. DC? Yeah. There is no DC. It must be BC. I can't DC read DC is like, it's like comics. I oh, know. That's <laughs> what I was looking at it twice. I wrote it down. <laughs> um, it was kind of, it's the, in this area of Olympia, it's the only, it's the only temple built for mortals. The rest of them are for the gods. Mm. Uh, this was for, I think it was King Philip built it, and that's why it's called the... So Philippi. why is all this stuff in such poor condition compared to some of the other stuff you um, looked at? He said they have a lot of earthquakes in the area, so that may have contributed to it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if maybe it was like war or something. That... So this is what it looked like back in the day. Oh, okay. That built in there. 
And then this is the palestra. This is where they had small sporting events like our wrestling and boxing. And this is what it looked like. So those are those pillars you see. Okay. Uh, and so they would get in that middle ring and have small sporting events. And in the VR goggles, they had like guys like stretching and exercising and boxing and stuff. It was pretty cool. A lot of this stuff reminds me of LSU's campus. Yeah. Because it's done in the same style. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to back to Italy. Um, there, I mean, they, like I said, there's not much for y'all to see at Olympia with my pictures. It's just a bunch of ruins. Um, so we went to Naples. Um, we were supposed to go, we went, we, we docked at Naples and we were supposed to go down the Amalfi coast to a bunch of different little, um, villages and they had had a landslide just a couple of days before that on the highway. So we only got to go to two more places. So our first place we went to was a cameo factory called Palazzo del Corral Corral And that's what that guy's doing. Yes, he's making a cameo. Um, so they take parts of the shell and they put them. Well, he's doing a butterfly right now, and that's the image he's working off of. They put the shells on these wooden dowel things using wax, and it holds it still for them to carve it. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I thought, look at the detail on this one. Oh. Now it's about, it's bigger. It's about this big. It's not to be warm, but that, still. That's a, there's a joke about, that's the last supper, right? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus brings the 12 apostles, uh, out to eat at a restaurant. The host, uh, says how many, uh, we need seating for 26 total. And the host goes, but there's only 13 of you. Well, we're all going to sit on the same side of the table. <laughs> I saw a meme. I messed that up. I saw a meme. I get it. That's funny. I saw a meme. It's like they're all on the same side of the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. true. I never thought about that. I know. Um, after we left there, we went to Positana. Now, there's um, a picture. Is that your picture? Yes, this is my picture. This is on the highway, the Amalfi Coast Highway going to Positana. And we stopped and got out. Actually, a video. It's just the coolest thing of these waves down here, like lapping the beach, and you can hear the surf. It's really cool. And this is actually Positana here. It's a little village on a cliff. Um, it's got like narrow streets with cobblestone, with shopping and restaurants and stuff. It's a really cool looking. Look at that. That's yeah, awesome. It's really cool looking village, but um, the shopping there is very expensive. So we just kind of wandered around and didn't really do anything. Um, and then driving back to Sorrento, I took some pictures of a couple of churches I thought were cool. I like the colors of them. Um, I don't know if that's a Catholic church or not. I do know he told me the tower on this one. That's an Orthodox church. So, um, that's pretty much all the pictures I have. This was like, this was actually our last stop of the cruise. So it was just like a shopping day for us. However, I do have some more, um, pictures for another stop we did in Sicily that I'm going to show y'all next time. So. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.